Composer HE is for users who want to go beyond what their Control 4 installer sets up. Composer HE, which runs in Windows on a PC, makes it easy to monitor the devices in your system, upload and manage your digital music, create programs to perform multiple events with one tap of a button, and more. When you open Composer HE, the first screen you'll see is the monitoring view. This view displays the project tree on the left side, the list view and properties tabs, and buttons for the monitoring, media, agents, and programming views at the bottom left. The project tree in the monitoring pane is your Composer HE project with all of the devices in that project. The name at the top is the name of your project. The project tree is a graphical view of your house, the floors, rooms, and devices in each room, device connections, and how everything works together in the system. The list view tab lets you view, monitor, and control devices in your system by floor and room. This view shows your devices in their current state, so if you have a dimmer on, it will show the dimmer box colored in. The Properties tab lets you view or change settings on individual devices. You can change the ramp rates on your dimmers, change the LED colors on your dimmers, switches, or keypads, and so on. Or, you can view devices by room. This view lets you hide devices from your interfaces, see what audio and video devices are in the room, and so on. If you double-click on a dimmer's name in the project tree, you can change its properties. In this case, I can change the ramp rate and click Set. You can also view and control a device by its device control. This is a virtual representation of a device's controls, such as a TV's remote. From this view, you can quickly test any changes you make. You can also click the icon next to the device's name in the List View tab. As you can see, I can change the state of the dimmer. To change to another view, simply click the Media, Agents, or Programming buttons. I'll explain those views next. So let's go to the Media view by clicking on that button. By the way, you can jump from one view to another quickly by clicking its respective button. The Media view lets you add your music and movies metadata to the system, so you can play music, watch videos, create playlists, set up a media scanning schedule, add radio stations and TV channels, and more. After that, you'll be able to see and select your favorite songs and channels directly from your Control 4 interfaces, your remote, touchscreens, My Home apps, and your TV's on-screen display. Now, let's go to the Agents view. Here, I'll click on the Agents button. The Agents view lets you add and manage a variety of agents. Agents are modules that enhance a program and let you do things, like create an announcement that displays on your touchscreen to let the kids know dinner is ready. Set up a four store so you can download cool apps to your touch screens and TV on screen. Set up a schedule for lights and other devices to go on and off at set times, and so much more. Next is the programming view, so I'll just click on the programming button. The programming view lets you program your agents and the devices in your system together for a more desirable living experience and to make your system perform exactly the way you want it to, flawlessly. Programming lets you create specific events and actions that prompt your devices to behave a certain way. For example, you can create a program to turn on specific lights at sunset when you're away. That's it for views. Now, let's take a look at what's in the menu bar. The file options let you load a project, 
Connect or Disconnect Director, a software that runs on your controller and communicates with Control 4 and third-party products to enable home automation, back up your project, refresh your remotes, touchscreens, on-screen, and my home apps, and Exit Composer HE. The Tools menu has a system diagnostic screen that lets you view CPU and memory use in your controller, your controller's connections and network address, internal system information, and logging information. An account services screen that lets you check, register, or unregister your controller, as well as establish a service connection for your installer in case they need to fix or update your system. And an update manager tool your dealer uses to update your system and its devices. You cannot update the system yourself. The Help menu shows the Composer HE Getting Started Help Files. And About shows which Composer HE version you're using. Make sure your Composer HE version and Director version are the same in this box. If not, contact your dealer. Look for additional upcoming videos about how to use Composer HE.